home and a, and a very good day. So today I will explain to you about our mini project using the Micro P68K, IDE68K. So in this project, we intended to develop a vending machine that can solve certain problem. But first of all, let me introduce my group mates, which is me, myself, Hafiz Udin Bey Ismail, uh, Mahmoud Zulfazli Ben Dasril, and Lokman Hakim Ben Roslan. Okay, so what caused us to develop this vending machine? This vending machine is developed because people nowadays that like their tasks to be done in uh, fast and quick manners, so they will not burden other things and can easily save their time. And then, but however, the there are some places that are not suitable to you develop to develop a stall or a shop because it will cost much and then it will require much space. So our solution to this is we are developing a vending machine because it's, it is portable. It is uh, take require less space and it's much more easy to maintain. So. Next, we move, to, we, uh, we move on to our next objective. So our objective is to understand the fundamental of MCSDK Visual Simulator. So this Visual Simulator is used for us to develop this project. So we need to design a system that can multi-select and execute option. Since the vending machine has uh, several selection, so they are ready to design a system that can uh, execute several options from the user and then uh, next we need to design and construct a system that can trigger the, the function of motor which in this case uh, the motor is run when the user select their option on the vending machine and finally we need to understand the connection between the hardware of flight board 68k so after this we are going to look at our coding for the system and then we will move on to the project simulation done by my crewmates. Hi, my name is Mohamad Zafazli Bin Nasri, and today I will tell you about how the coding works. So, as you can see, uh, we start with the coding begin which indicate the starting of the operation okay then we put switch led and motor declaration on this part and then we go to the main part which is the main operation the start operation or start function so as you can see first we put the switch on the d0 which is the address zero d0 we put the indicator in D0, if the same, it will go to the loop tree. The others is the same. Just compare it, the input and the input in the switch. Uh, to choose which operation will be choose. Loop tree, loop 5, loop 10, loop 15, loop 20, 25 and loop 30. Okay, after that we have the operation loop, uh, operation function, I'm sorry. The operation function will show you how many times it will rotate and go to the motor part. And the others is the same for loop 5, loop 10, loop 15, 20, 25 and 30. Okay, we go to the operation motor function. Okay, first is pros 1. We show that this will indicate the motor rotate in clockwise and put it on LED to show the rotation and we, it will give you the delay first delay 1 and the motor will stop and will put in the LED it also have the delay 1 and the and then the anti-clockwise motor rotation will be put on the LED and it also have the Okay, so we are this it, this function will tell you about the how many looping in the system. Okay, uh, the pros one, pros two, pros three, pros four, pros five, 
cross 6 we show cross 7 I'm sorry uh, we show you how many time how many the switch will be varies okay uh, this is the delay function the delay function will show you about the time delay on each switch it will be varies based on the height of the item in the vending machine this is the different as you can see uh, I have varies randomly for 400,000, 400,000, 800,000, 100,000, 200,000, 200,000, 300,000 and 500,000 so it will vary differently from for each switch uh, and then I end with I end my coding with end and begin okay that's all from from me thank you Assalamualaikum and good morning I am Lumah Hakim Berosan and I will explain about the operation of this system For this project, we implicate uh, vending machine as our project. Okay. For this system, um, we using switch, motor, and LED. LED represent the whole system to indicate the system is running or not. Um, while switch represent the button for the vending system uh, for the vending machine. For the motor, I indicate um, if we call it robotic arm or motor in the vending machine for example if I want um, drink on button 0 so I just push the button 0 see the LED when push uh, when the button is push change um, uh, 0 and 2 light up while 1 and 3 are zero while uh, that happen when the motor is uh, rotate clockwise and the motor will stop to indicate that the item uh, will, uh, will be dropped and the user can take it out and the motor will um, rotate counterclockwise to the their origin part and while the motor uh, rotate counterclockwise the LED 1 and 3 will light up to indicate the motor rise up. Okay, now let we let let's let's say we vary the input. Let's say we push number six as our input, and we see the the motor uh, the motor rotate longer than the input in zero. That is because we vary the height of the motor. Oh, my, my mistake, sorry. We vary the height to indicate uh, the location of the item in the vending machine. That's why. Now we change our input to number 4. See? So fast. So uh, now we input number four as our input. As you can see, the motor rotate in a short time, in a short amount of time, because uh, uh, we put the item in number four at the low, at the lower part, at the nearest part of the vending machine, and it rotate back to the origin part. Okay, now we move on to the Q&A session. So, what questions are, do you have for us? Okay, uh, what is the motor function in real life? Okay, that's a good question. Now, the motor function in real life, we will, uh, this, we will replace the motor with a robotic arm that will lift the item from the vending machine and drop it down to the dropping hole where the user will take the item. Okay, next question. 
Ah, uh, okay. What is the problem that you face when developing the system coding? Okay, since you want to know about the coding, so our coding is much complicated because it has so many loops. So we might get confused of the loops because the loop is one of the option in the vending machine. So we have up to seven selection because my coffee only my coffee only have seven switch. So that's all. So if you want to improvise the coding, we need to simplify the coding so others can understand. Any other question? Okay. Uh, can I ask, what feature would you add to this system? Ah, that's a good question. So to improvise the system, we will need to develop a dropping zone which has a soft and smooth surface. Reason for this is for us to drop down the put down the item from the vending machine and it will not uh, damage the, the item and then we need to add keypad for interaction interactive and within users and the vending machine so the users can select easily and then we have we must add another buzzer for security system since vending machine is prone to vandalism and tap a tap that's all Okay, I think that's all for us from this project. I hope you guys uh, understand what our project is about and then the way to our the way we develop the project. That's all. Thank you.